Hey everybody, Craig Williams, Austin Silver Coins Pro, 512-573-4926. Well, I'm, this is a continuation of the video I did last time about the Hunt Boys, the Texas Boys, the High Rollers. The, uh, they were in competition with the Rockefellers at, in the 60s. They were the uh, two richest families in the free world. And... Uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about, uh, you know, what they ended up doing, you know, after Bunker acquired Track 65 in Libya and went in halves with BP, and they drilled all the wells and got them on, online, and Gaddafi held them up hostage and wanted 51% royalty. And uh, so everything over there was at a standstill, and this was in... Uh, between 1970 and 1973, Bunker and Herbert acquired about 200,000 ounces of silver. You know, and these guys really got it. You know, they're, they're the big money people. They understand it was illegal to own any gold privately back then, but you could own, you know, silver because it had never come up before. And so, you know, they acquired uh, 200,000 ounces of silver. Now, in, after their deal fell through, uh, Bunker hired John Connolly to go over there and try to negotiate with Gaddafi to get a percentage of his wells back. And he couldn't do that. And so, uh, in the meantime, between 70... In 73, the price of silver went from buck fifty to three dollars. So they had already doubled their money on the 200,000 ounces. So after their, he couldn't get his percentage of, of the wells back, you know, this guy really got it. It was either oil or silver to make the kind of money these people are used to making. So what he, uh, Bonker and Herbert went in there and, and bought, uh, I think it was 55, and by early 74, Herbert and Bunker had 50, had acquired contracts on 55 uh, million ounces of silver. And uh, this was early 74. And so Bunker goes to getting paranoid because he had gotten screwed over and they had nationalized the wells over there in, in Libya. And he got to thinking that the U.S. might take his silver. So what does he do? He does what all high rollers do. He hires three 707 jets, gets 12 sharpshooters from his ranch in Dallas, hires all the, gets the cowboys and goes and has armored trucks meet them in New York and then the Cowboys load up all the silver and take it to Switzerland. They unloaded it onto some more armored trucks in Switzerland and took it to six different locations. Uh, the cost of that was $200,000. It was the largest private silver transfer in history to this day. And uh, the storage bill alone for his $44 million ounces in Switzerland or 40 million ounces in Switzerland and 15 million ounces in the US was three million bucks a year. I like the way these guys think. But by that time in 74 silver had gone up to six dollars an ounce. So he was making big money because he got it. And this is what I'm here to talk to you about today. Do you get it? You know, the numismatic silver and gold coin business is a $10 billion a year industry right now. And that's what I hold the secret on how you can deal in gold and silver numismatic coins. How, and that's exactly... The, the kind of wealth that I'm looking for, you know. I like the way wealthy people think, like these hot boys at the time. And there's still going to be more to the story. 
and you know they're making money the whole time they've got eight percent of the world silver market stashed in switzerland and the u.s but they're starting to get a little nervous and silver price is going up so but they still got it that's the whole key do you get it that there's a ten billion dollar industry out there in the u.s and these numismatic gold and silver coins that i have in my safe and in my pocket and in my closet, you know, that's the deal here. Do you get it? Do you want to create wealth? If you, have to, if you want to create wealth, you have to do what wealthy people do. And I have that secret. So call me, Austin Silver Coins Pro, 512-573-4926. Or email me at austinsilvercoinspro.com. Make sure you get it because this is going to be huge and I'm starting to think like the big boys think. So you want to hear what I have to say. Talk to you soon.